stop slurping that cup. Uh. <laughs> and this place is on well. fire! Oh, mind yourself. <laughs> mind yourself. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Usually, when you're going into a house on Albert Square, you have to get your keys out, you have to cross the square perhaps, check for traffic, open the door. Not on Nuts Natters, I can break all the rules in the book. Follow me, I can break all the four walls. And hopefully, throughout these programmes, I'm going to show you all the secrets and everything you need to know. Come with me. I don't think we can have a little chat until we start our cup of tea. What do you yeah. say? I love a cup of tea. Right, let's have a little I cup, of tea. cup now, of tea. Now, we've got lots to get through and lots to talk about, but first things first, have you been working here today? I have, because you know I'm always spinning the plates. Spinning the plates. <laughs> I, do I ever not work? I'm mm. always working. She's always on. I'm yeah. always on. However, when I say work, I only did one scene today. Oh, OK. Was right. that all right? Did it go well? Yes, it was quick. It was easy. It was nice. It's done. And Lovely. here I am. Lovely. Now this is my chill Thank time. you for spending your time on Nuts Natters this of afternoon. Course. Thank you for having us. Is that all right? Yeah. Are you working today? Are you working later? I'm working later. Oh, you are? Yeah. Bless you. Well, you look very glam. Thank you. You look absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, thank you as well. Yeah. <laughs> Darling, I don't need to say that Tamika looks glam. <gasps> Just saying, you know. I may as well just have it on a t-shirt or tattoo it on my arm. Yeah, if you could, that would be nice. Yeah. A t-shirt, you don't have to tattoo it. Mr. Baku. There we go, my Mr. love. Baku. So, yeah. we are here to chat about mm -hmm. your storylines that you've been doing. Let's talk first about you, mm -hmm. yeah? Now, EastEnders always deals with, as we know, very sensitive storylines to do yeah. with mental health, yeah? Mm -hmm. And we know that we use charities and we always try and portray them as realistically and sensitively as possible, yeah. yeah. Let's go, let's go back, let's go back. Mm -hmm. You tell me, as if I haven't watched it, what's Kim been up to? Well, Kim has always been a happy-go-lucky character. Yeah. But right now, for those who have seen it, and you should have. I'm sure they have if they're they, watching well, that Well, you're just covering all this. I'm just covering it, just covering <laughs> it. But the thing with, um, I was going to say Pearl then, with Kim, she's had a car crash. Yeah. And this all happened because she wasn't concentrating when she was driving. She had um, Denise's phone. The text she, messages were coming up. Exactly. Mm. So that was when she realised that Denise was having an affair with Ravi. Mm. Shocking news, driving. We all know we shouldn't drive Absolutely and look not. at the phone. Of course. And that was the reason why she had the crash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Luckily, and thank God, that Jaden was okay. Yeah. Denzel okay. Jaden and Denzel, because they're two of the same. Absolutely. Two of the same. And Tamika and Kim were, came out in one piece, exactly. quite frankly. Exactly, exactly. You can't have one without the other. No. The fact that all of that happened has now spiralled into different things. Because I remember I had, in the 90s, I had, okay, list of that. I had a crash. Mm -hmm. And this car crash, it shook my whole world. And even today... You still think about it. Not only do I think about it, I can still hear the impact okay. of when the cars mm. crashed together, when they collided together. And you think you put it away, you think you're okay, but you're not. Mm. And that is what Kim is showing at the moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's showing that she's, you know, the anxiety that she has, she's very worried because they could have died. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, you've gone into a building, you could have died. But am I right in saying, from viewer's point of view, yeah. for a little while, Kim, you know, you're bottling it up. Kim's yeah. bottling it up. She, does, she's, she thinks she's all right. She thinks she's all right. She thinks she's all right. Yeah. She's not all right. She's mm -hmm. not all right. She's brushing it under the carpet. It's fine, but people around her notice the difference. Mm -hmm. And it's that thing of keeping up appearances, mm -hmm. you know. I'm okay, it's fine. But bit by bit, it well, plays back in the back of the mind yeah. because it could have been a very different story. Yeah, of course. Of course. Mm -hmm. And also, you've got your relationship with Howie, yeah. the guilt you feel for him because it was his son in the car with you, all of that yeah. stuff. Because... But, Potentially, you can have somebody's blood on your hands. Yeah. This is why you really have to concentrate behind the room. You just of course, have to. Of course. So you just have to. That's what we do best, right? As a soap, I feel we do it best. We look at very uncomfortable, disturbing yeah. stories that happen in real life, and we portray them the best we can yeah. to hopefully help people and get people talking about these issues. That's what we've yeah. always been. Of course. And I think something like this is a, um, a wake-up call for people yeah. to seek help uh -huh. because like Kim she's not seeking help she, everything is fine but bit by bit like you've seen with Kim and Sonia when mm -hmm. Sonia does see the signs and as well with your character yeah. where she says actually it's okay to ask for help mm -hmm. it helps to talk 
it helped me a lot. But it's just seeing that from the inside mm. and not being afraid to ask for help because asking for help is actually strength. Definitely. And I think for what you're going to see with Kim is that it builds up to such a state mm -hmm. where she can't not do anything else but seek help. Mm -hmm. And really, you don't want to get to that point. Of course. But look, let's look at that point again. We're in a community. Wolford is a community, our characters. Mm. We're in a community of people. Yeah. And what I think is lovely is that your community gather around and the people that are close to you notice what's going on. Yes. And they help you and they support you. Exactly. And that's why it's so important for other you know, people that are watching yeah. to reach out to their friends, to their family, to whoever. Yeah. You know, so yeah. I think I'm really looking forward to seeing what's coming next, next week. Oh, yeah. And all your stuff coming up, it's going to be yeah. great. I, you know, the fact that Sonia comes out and says, actually, you need help. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a great thing. I love so. our bits and pieces. I do. I think we should do some more. We want to do some more. Don't yeah. We? I delivered your baby. Sonia you delivered did. your baby, you for did. goodness sake. You did. Yes, you did. You should be godmother. Really. I should be. You're the unofficial godmother. And also, I think Pearl should be coming around for sleepovers. You'd be palming her off to me, saying Listen, I'm off to yeah. the pub. I, I just tell you me that on screen and it can be done, it can be achieved. I, I think so, because Sonia doesn't go out a lot. No, I know, so she's, she's happy at place. home. I yeah. can be with the children. Jokes aside, yeah. actually getting involved to help offload some of the things that mm -hmm. people have to do is also good. We all so. need a little break, especially even in real life with our kids. <laughs> You need to have a little rest sometimes. I can't. We can't if we go into that... This no, is this going is going to be epic. It'll be... Yeah. How long have we got? Right, let's move on to Amy Mitchell. I want to say, before we talk about anything, how proud I am of you. Thank you. I'm so mm -hmm. proud. I think you are doing so, so well. You're such a Thanks. lovely actress mm -hmm. and you are a good egg. So Thank as someone who has been your age here, mm. I'm very proud of you. Let's Thank cheers you. to that. Let's cheers to that. Cheers to that. Cheers. 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 And cheers. Let's, let's talk about Amy Mitchell and what you've been through because yes. honestly, your stuff has been <clears throat> amazing. And I know that you've had a lot of help. So I would like you to tell yes. me, because I don't know much about this as Natalie. Mm -hmm. Tell me how it's been, the journey, how you've coped with the story and mm -hmm. who's helped you through. So with the beginning of it all, mm -hmm. um, we started with... Um, getting all like, a load of information um, with everything to do with it, like the statistics, everything, mm -hmm. why people do it. Lots of research. Yeah, and lots of research. And um, we worked very closely with Mind and Samaritans um, and we had a two and a half hour meeting yeah. um, where we literally just sat there and we just had a massive, massive talk about everything that goes into it, what they do and how they help. See, this is amazing, mm. sorry to interrupt, but this yeah. is what I mean. I think it's so important that people hear, you know, that the, yeah. the work, the homework that goes in mm -hmm. the behind the scenes yeah. and the yeah. depth of it, because yeah. it's so yeah. important that we're not just writing it and sort of filming it and not thinking about it. It's very yeah. important, isn't it? Very because it has to be accurate as well. Of course it does. That's the thing. It's yeah. highly important. Yeah. yeah. Sorry Definitely. to interrupt you. Absolutely. So that was the worry. first bit. Yeah, um, and then um, with all of the um, self-harm um, scenes, we had someone from Samaritans, I'm pretty sure, because we wanted it to to come across as real as possible. Um, well, I think you've done that incredibly well. Mm. Incredibly yeah. well. It's ha so hard to watch because yeah. you're watching the show and you know it's a fictional character, and, yeah. you know, but... Mm. The scenarios are very real. I think what's difficult, I don't know if you find the same, but as a mother, mm -hmm. you're going into someone's house and yeah. you're going, oh, Jack and, mm -hmm. Jack and Denise don't know yeah. That, yeah. that she's upstairs. But they're not bad parents. Yeah. No. They're great parents. Yeah. You know, these things can happen, as we said earlier, to anybody. Yeah. yeah. And it's so true because you're watching that and you might be downstairs watching EastEnders and you think, Actually, let me go upstairs and check. Let's have yeah. a little check on them. Let me just have a little check. I'm knocking the door. What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> do you know, you have to, yeah. you know. You do. you do. You have to get involved. With it being shown on such a, a big TV soap that it helps open up different um, conversations mm. within families, within friends, like within any uh, relationship that somebody has. Have you had anyone get in touch with you to say thank you? Or, or yes. you know, any, you have? Yeah, so... I, I do have a look at um, what people send me and even in like fan mail and things like that, they just mm -hmm. are so appreciative of this storyline going out and it really touches my heart because of 
what they they say what they've been through and how long they've been suffering and things like that and they're saying wow. that that this being portrayed on such a big TV soap has helped them really? get help help them talk about it and help them feel better about oh, it. Oh, this is see what yeah. I mean. That's that is really amazing. Really, That's really so so helped. good. It really has helped. It's so and again, good as well. It's like an eye opener for not only people who are going through it, but well, also to educate people who don't know about it. Yes, exactly. Which also is extremely important. You know, yeah, definitely. But being young as well, mm -hmm. being you know of a teenage. Yeah. That will think, oh, where do I go? Yeah. If they see Amy, then that will give them the encouragement, which you just yeah. said. So that's great. Yeah. That's really, really good. Yeah. But you honestly, you're doing such a good job. Thank such, you. such a good job. Yeah. So what after, like you say, that sort of early doors. Yeah. Forgive me, stuff I've been watching of late. Mm -hmm. You've moved on to dealing with the emotions. Yeah. So, for instance, the stuff you do yes. with your chest. and yes. yeah. What's all that about? Because, yeah, again, I, I'm not. I'm not so, au fait on this stuff. Um, the tapping on the chest is called EFT. Okay. Um, and it's a way to calm you down. So there's loads of different points within the body. So you've got the chest, the forehead, and you've got your hand as well. And they're points that just help calm you down and they just kind of relax you. Um, a lot of people do it when meditating as well because mm -hmm. um, that helps them get into the, med the meditating state. Meditative, Ooh. and Meditative. I can't say it either. So don't That's worry about I'm, it. Do you know I'm what? Drinking. I always... <laughs> <laughs> meditative, meditative, meditative state. state. Yeah. If I ever have to say that as Sonia, forget it. I'm changing it. You see, that's why Kim doesn't it. do medical. Mm. Medical or meditative? <laughs> right, that's it. I've had enough. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just break we'll move on. Yeah, but we'll no, I'm just saying. So you're, the stages, you know, that's happened, and now you're learning to deal with it. Well, you're watching yes. Amy learn to deal with it, which I think's, mm -hmm. you know, what I like, it's followed through. It's a long process. So it's you might be process. doing these um, tactics to help you. Well, yeah. forever. For quite, forever, yeah. yeah. Could be a very long time, yeah. couldn't it? Yeah, because with everything that's gone on in the past, obviously mm -hmm. losing her, Amy losing her mum, yeah. especially so young and... Need to talk to you about that, actually. <laughs> so, I heard there was a very, very special something there was a very, very special something. Very secret something. And a very secret something. Okay. Come on, dish the dirt and the beans. Okay, so. So? Um, I was very, very lucky to work with Rita. When? <laughs> <laughs> we are, <laughs> yeah. You lie. No, I've done a, I've done a scene with, with Rita. The memories that they're all in there, you've, you just got to find them, baby. I miss you. Oh, darling. Mm. I miss you too. No! Yeah. What was it like meeting your on-screen mum who is dead? That's what I said <laughs> to say often. Wow. She's come running over to me, hugged me, bearing in mind I looked wow. awful because I'd just been crying a scene before. I know. It's no, you did look <laughs> awful. Not even that talk. It was just... So fun having her on set. Oh, that's blowing so my mind. Much that's, great. that's great. That's blowing my mind. Yeah, this place is so on well. fire. It is, you it know. Is. Oh, mind yourself. <laughs> mind yourself. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Yeah. I'm sorry that Rita didn't call me and let me know. It was um, top secret. Top like, secret. Very Do top me secret. a favour. <laughs> Everything. Nobody knew. I can't thank you both enough for coming on to the first ever Nats Natters. Oh. Feels good to be I here. feel honoured to have had you both here. Thank you. Honestly, thank you, thank you, thank you so you. much. Thank cheers. You. Come on, let's cheers. 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 cheers.